Team Games has revealed the roadmap for Enshrouded. And it's looking really good. There's so much stuff coming to the game. Uh, so much stuff the community was asking for. So much stuff that I was hoping for to be in the game. Uh, 2024, we can expect at least 36 updates planned for this year. Which is really awesome, really amazing to see already. When I got a code for the game, I was kind of expecting that to be a roadmap already. But when I was looking for it, I couldn't really find it. So um, when, they, when they finally posted it, I was really excited for it because there's so much potential with this game. I really like it. Um, like I'm not a big like survival gamer. I, I, I never really got into those types of games, but and Shrouded looked really interesting. So when I got the key, I was, and I started playing it. I was hooked at the beginning, like right away. It just feels really nice, feels really good. Uh, that's a good flow into the game, like fighting and shit. So like it's all it's all really, really well done so far already. And like them improving on it would be really nice and i think i'm definitely going to do a video about the game still but i have about 35 hours into it right now i want to get a little bit you know more experience in the game um i've been like adventuring a lot i've been questing a lot i haven't done like a lot of base building home building um farming and stuff like that and i want to try that out before i actually do a video about it but you know, this is this is about the roadmap so let's get into the roadmap already from seeing this there are like five standout things right away that i've been hoping for with a lot of other people probably and uh, one of those is a weather system in the game i i think that um that would make the game uh, even more interesting more dynamic uh, and i would love to see if it actually has an effect on the environment if it has an effect on the farming Maybe when it rains, your crop grows a little bit faster. If you want to get water out the wells, there's more water. Uh, muddy roads slowing you down. Um, well, that's kind of all rain related though, but uh, let it snow, you know, um, hinder us in that way. Uh, I'm really looking forward to it and how they're going to implement it. It's like really cool. Also a new mountain biome, which is really cool to see. I wonder where they're... Uh, I wonder where they are gonna open up because to the left uh, top right everywhere around it it can still open up a lot there's a lot of land still being able to uh, be used for the new biomes which is really cool there is already uh, sort of a mountain where you can get up to if you're at the starting area to the left you can get up on a mountain fairly high there's snow there which slows you down which is really cool so uh, i'm wondering how that will look I think it will be awesome and and like really cool to have at least the first biome released this year hopefully more but at least the first one right and another one that really stands out already is the animal farming i really like that that's something that makes base building um uh more fun i think it like you have the farming right now you can do a lot of buildings already like the, it's it's awesome with what's already in there but farming is really cool as well to have in there and then the other thing is also replayable world quests, which is really nice. I like questing. I like going out and about in the world and just adventuring out and having, uh, well, redoing stuff. Like, it's not a bad thing for me. I like it. So that's a welcome addition as well. And then the last thing that really stands out to me is the uh, performance improvements. Like, it's not a real update as to we're getting more playable things in the world, but um, my PC is not that good. I'm, I'm running... A gpu wise i'm kind of running a potato right now it's a uh, 2060 but the game still runs really well on my pc um i was streaming it for a bit and then i cranked down the settings a lot uh still got it at a spot where it like looks really nice has a decent fps like a decent as in above 60 fps while streaming it and really really amazing though and uh off stream i can crank it up a little bit higher the settings because i'm at around like 90 to 110 between that fps uh of course it goes down a little bit but it looks it looks even better uh, really really good really nice to have though awesome awesome update and uh, a good way to just i don't know utilize the the, the 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 lower end pcs as well for this game so you can you can play it if you don't have a an insane rig to your uh at your disposal those are like the things that really stood out to me that I really want, wanted to have uh, in the game. There's like a lot of other stuff as well, but these are like the five that I'm looking forward to 
a lot as well. And then if we look at the entire roadmap right now, this is all 2024, which is really awesome. Um, there's even some things for beyond 2024. I love it. But we're going to look at what's there for 2024 because that's like the most important stuff right now, right? And then we start off with the Hollow Halls Dungeons, which is also another piece of the game. More replayability, really cool dungeons are always welcome in a game like this. Um, Steam Deck support. Usually I like to look at games, how they perform on Steam Deck. Even at, like I don't have a Steam Deck, but it's still fun to see how games are optimized for it. Um, I think I know one person that has a Steam Deck that played it on there. Uh, low settings, I think got about 30 to 40 FPS. I'm not sure, but like awesome. If it runs better on the Steam Deck, let's go. With the performance improvements right here, if that just sets through to the Steam Deck, awesome, let's go. Better, more power to the Steam Deck users, I think. And then a smoother, high FPS gameplay. Always nice to improve on like performance, the gameplay, how it looks and stuff. Um, one underneath there is the improved post-processing love it keep going at it like optimize the game more and more and more um and then we get like location improvements i don't know how i want to do this i don't I, like i have no visualization for what this should mean but uh let's hope it's something cool let's hope it makes the game a little bit better then improved <laughs> the loot ui i don't have a real problem with the uh, looting ui but it could be better um I, I kind of want to see how they're going to implement their version of a better improved loot UI. Uh, workshop craft from the magic chest. I'm really dumb because when I started playing it, I probably didn't read it, but uh, we were building chests and we we're like, okay, let's build a bigger chest because they fill up pretty fast. And they were like, okay, let's do a, a magical chest, probably way more storage space. But <laughs> when creating it, it had the same storage space and we're like what is the use for a magic chest that and then we figured out you could use it while crafting you didn't have to pick up all the the items from the chest and have it in your inventory which is really uh, like really good and then doing the workshop crafting from the magic chest as well like really good stuff um better stack splitting is something that is really needed because uh, i've had moments where i had like a lot of bandages with me and other stuff and uh, I had to share it between like two or three people. And it was like, oh, split half, split half, split half. And I'm like, nah, that, that should be better though. Like I want it to be like split half or an amount with a slider or something would be better. Um, multiple NPC instances. I kind of don't really know what this means, but if it, if it gives more options for the NPCs and everything, I'm all for it. That's really dope. Let's go. A reassignable glider shortcut i have not had any problems with this um i also have the double jump uh, upgrade but uh so far i've never like unintentionally started gliding instead of doing a double jump but it is nice for this to be there because like it could be annoying to have this instead of um okay let's hope we double jump and then glide you know it's, it's better. Maybe I'll put it on my mouse or something like a button. Um, quality of life improvement is there. One thing that I found so silly was that you can build like homes, nice places to sit at, benches outside with like cool stuff surrounding it, but you cannot sit on anything. And they're adding it and I'm all for it. It looks really good. Uh, well, we just touched on this with a uh, smoother FPS in the performance, which is improved post-processing. Love it. Keep optimizing the game. Uh, more trees to grow. More is better, right? In this, uh, in, in this instance, more is better. I love it. Give us more stuff. And I think that just um, like goes hand in hand with like this one, the new building materials. Uh, give us cooler stuff to build. Make it look cooler. And... Just give us more of cool stuff. This is also an update, which is something I kind of was looking forward to because I've seen people do Hobbit homes, Hobbit holes, Hobbit builds and everything. And it looks so cool. But well, there was like a rectangular door and a, like a, a square window and still looks really amazing. 
but having the round doors and windows just like goes in with the vibe of let's build a hobbit home let's have it more in that theme and i think it just fits the game really well too so awesome for them to add this as well then we get potted plants nice extra thing good way to spice up a base a home or whatsoever while the replayable world quests already touched on a better quest sorting um I, I, it's nice for them to add this i didn't have a real problem with this but i think just like the the the, the quality of life improvements are really nice to have especially in a game like this you want don't want to be too long in the menu you just want to go out about get your quest and do the quest that's it uh, next is the server gameplay settings and server user rights um when i got the game i made a server we played on it and then we got an online server did the save file to the online server and i kind of never touched it after that so um it's really really nice to have them at this it's really good if you have like a bigger server with like more people on there this is really good to have though the next thing which is also uh, give more life to the world and i like that town folk npcs and town folk pets um i fucking love it like that's all i can say about it let's go like i hope um there are some settlements in the world itself that are inhabited by the, the npcs and the pets itself i hope you can get them towards your own home base have them be there do things there just make it feels like they're actually doing something i like that a lot there's one spot in the world uh, so far which i was like this is such a um a, a dope uh it was a tavern uh, uh, such a dope building such a dope spot for actual npcs to like come together in uh, make it feel more lively and everything and i understand it it is deserted it is uh like desolated and everything but maybe that will you know happen with that as well other than that i really love to see more life into the world next is the vanity system um once again a game like this throw in a vanity system give us the options and let us just change change that stuff around as well look how you want to look right and then the other thing which the, for me i am like dumb we don't even have a lot of chests and i still can't find things so stupid but having editable signs with the chest just makes my life way easier and i love it let's go for that um next thing like would go together so well with a lot of other things so like musical instruments how cool would it be if you can build a nice home base with a nice square or something like that have your npcs some town folks npcs some farming animals some pets around and create like festival with your instruments and have a, like a dope in-game festival that way i love it i'm all for that um animal farming uh, we've already touched on that enemy patrols i like that i thought there were already kind of some enemy patrols in the game but it, it might just be like a little group of like wolves or um what what's the other ones called again uh oh i can't remember the name the big furry dudes and stuff like that um but actually having enemy patrols in the game really nice makes it also enemy wise make it feel more lively and i love that just more of this stuff in the game more to do more to walk around go around sneak around attack do it's all good and then portals to other servers i haven't found a need for it like i just we don't have a lot of people on the server that we play on um at the moment it's just me because the other guys are just playing other stuff right now like hell divers and and games like that which are just awesome really good games but i think this could be like a fun extra thing to do an uh, easier way to get around servers if you have like if you're on multiple servers um love it really good and then nameable bases this is something i think we have our base at max right now and you can build eight 
other um, bases like home thingies fires around the world and giving them just giving them just names is just well more fun but also nice to do you can have like your home base home city base you can have like an outpost you can have something else you can have something else that is really nice to have and also nameable map locations is really chill to have because there's a lot of there's a lot of times where i put like a, a spot on the map and i'm like why did i just put this here there's like no chest there there's nothing there and i was like oh this is just a nice view a nice view to have uh, like a nice lookout point like a nice view it's just really stupid and i just remember that my face my big face was still in front of the bottom left but we just touched on the mountains biome so we don't really need it um this is something that was like kind of weird to me the multiplayer pinks gonna come in the game like love it awesome please have it but this was, this was something i was kind of expecting in the beginning of the game because i was like a ping if you're in a multiplayer should be there like it should be way easier to be like oh it it is over there and then you'd be like in actual real life yeah it's over there but you cannot ping it for the others and that's stupid it should be in the game and god is gonna come to the game i love it <laughs> Uh, name tombstones uh, I think played with three people max and we I probably had one instance where somebody picked up the wrong tombstone stuff uh, other than that for us it's not a big problem but it's nice to have especially when you're just going out and about and you don't know if this is yours or you died like right next to your buddy or something like that so nice new enemies and bosses I am looking forward to this I think I've seen all the enemies so far in the game um, a lot of fun ones, a lot of annoying ones, like oh, dragons. In the beginning, they were really annoying, though. One hitting me every time. Oh my god, please don't talk about it. But I love it. Even more new enemies. And I, I kind of wonder if this is gonna be more enemies in the mountain biome, or is it gonna be new enemies and bosses overall in the world as we have it right now? I'm just looking forward to that and see, you, you know. How many new enemies are we getting? How many new bosses are we getting? Um, are these all going to be on enemy patrols? It's uh, I'm looking forward to it. And then some fixes and uh, more polishing to the game, which is going to be like uh, it's going to be ongoing. Like at, at least the uh, Steam Deck support, um, performance improvements, smoother, high FPS gameplay, post processing improvements, and then the fixing and polishing. That's just a continuing um, update. That's probably every update we're going to get. There's something of those things in there, which is really good. Keep working on the game. Keep making it like a better, better experience all over. And these things are all past 2024, which is good. They're already thinking about way more in the future. And um, it's not a lot that they showed us, but it's really nice that they already say like, sharing and visiting of bases i don't know what they mean with it but if they need it in there let's go and then create and share gameplay experiences uh, i'm like wondering what that could be is it like uh creating a quest um creating an omission to do something and then maybe putting that somewhere for people to grab put it in other servers putting something in your own server and people can just like if they come in go to that a quest marker and do that quest i guess I, I wonder what that means sounds cool sounds good next thing for beyond 2024 are world events looking forward to that because i think world events um could be really cool depends on how they're like always depends how they go about it but i think world events being replayable and doing those and having something extra to do in the world is always a good thing for a game like this and then instance dungeons i gotta pronounce that slowly or else i cannot even do it but um what i said with the previous uh thing like the, the hollow halls dungeons more dungeons way better awesome let's go more biomes which is like already 100 sure that's gonna come there's so much 
world still left to build on and i love to see it and then the last thing is water <laughs> it's such a simple thing but it's not in the game so far i wonder if we're gonna get a biome which is made up of a lot of water maybe some water traversal let's just wait let's first get these beautiful updates going into the game and as far as i have seen i think i said in the beginning as well um first update's gonna come at the end of this month or the end of next month what they said and i think it's gonna be some well, i expect it to be some easy things that are easily implemented into the game like uh sitting on furniture um the the editable signs um what more I'm looking at it right now uh maybe already some performance improvements would be really nice um what's more easy to implement like the multiplayer pings the name tombstones could be easy to implement maybe the improved loot ui uh the magic chest crafting workshop stuff uh better stack splitting i think there's a lot they could already do which I'm, I'm not a developer but seems fairly easy to implement already and i'm really curious as to what it's all gonna be oh so yeah i'm really looking forward to this out of all these updates i i wonder what are you looking forward to the most and how are you liking the game so far it's like really really fun for me um never been a survival gamer but this really got me into that and i love it don't forget to leave a like on the video if you like it subscribe to the channel and see you on the next video Bye bye